Pac-12 champion, so uh, we got a face nigga team. How much? How often do you look at the, the individual matchups, and do you check draft rankings of the guys you're going to be going against? Uh, it, it, I didn't really check the draft rankings, but um, one of our intern coaches had told us uh, just for a thought. Just you know, what I'm saying he's an obviously a good player. Um, so. Uh, Individual matchups, I definitely check them. I know what I'm want to go up against. Uh, I want to know their tendencies, um, things like that, and what I can use on them. Chase, what do you know about Zach Harrison? Uh, I know that boy fast. <laughs> nah, but uh, Zach, um, definitely the top recruit we have, um, best player in the nation. Um, so uh, I just told him uh, when he comes in, just be ready to work. And obviously, he was you know, pretty quiet about his recruitment. How aware were you guys of? of where he was and whatnot. I know it was us and the team up north. Um, I would hit him up time to time. Every time he'll come up, he'll hang with me. So, I mean, at that point, that's all I could do. So, um, the rest was just on him. And you've played with quite a few talented defensive ends here. How excited are you to get him in here? And We're excited. He's going to be a, a very good player, uh, especially out of Coach Jay. Um, he's going to craft him into a B. So, um, definitely ready to take him out of my wing. And, um, you know, see him, watch him bloom. You, you were kind of like him at one at one point. You were highly recruited. What what is it like to get that finally that decision off your back? Um, it feels real good because everybody just asks you, wondering where you're going, and you yourself don't know where you're going. You're just like stuck in the middle. So uh, once I think once you said it, it's relief off your back, and um, you can just focus on your next step. And what's what's the biggest eye opener he faces mm. once he gets here? All these coaches being all nice to him. <laughs> nah, but uh, um, once he gets here, um, he's definitely going to just come in in the system and uh, he's just being treated like everybody else. Uh, I guess that's the biggest um, obstacle uh, a freshman would, would face. But that's not really an obstacle. He know what he's coming in yeah. for. And uh, he wants to be coached by the best, and that's how we going to coach. Chase, what is, uh, what is in your mind uh, – what are y'all losing, and, and and maybe even college football losing with Urban Meyer retiring? What what? Mm, we're losing a, a legend, uh, a great, real great coach, uh, a great man to help. That you know, you see him every day, and uh, he helps you become the man, um, a leader. Um, I think that's what we're losing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, obviously Coach Meyer, he teaches you, you know, how to act on and off the field. And um, he's taught me some things that I'll never forget. Is he is he no nonsense? How would you describe him to someone? Is he is he a straight shooter? What what is mm -hmm. uh, what how would you describe interaction with him? He is a uh, weird funny. It's like a uh, I don't know, he he's just real funny, but he he funny but not even having to say a word for it. Um, yeah, but uh, no, he's he's a good guy. You know, he's a uh, we always laugh and making jokes and practice and things like that. So, you know, that's my guy. Do you have a favorite moment or memory with Urban? Um, I think uh, like he always says, when um, the best moment is when uh, the coach pats you on the shoulder and says, "Go win the game." And uh, I think we did that to me in the Penn State game. You know, I won the game. So I think that's the you know, best moment that we had. Thanks.